students myself sagar choksi from lj institutes of engineering and technology so in previous session we have started a new chapter that is industrial legislation and we have already completed two topics that related to industrial legislation first one that is industrial dispute act and number two that is factories act okay so in today's session we are going to discuss about uh, three new topic of industrial legislation first one that is workman compensation act number two that is trade union act and number three that is employee provident fund scheme so let's start the lecture lecture number 24 that related to industrial legislation act first an important one that is industrial legislation act what do you understand by industrial legislation act so here i have attached one video that related to industrial evolution so first so here i have attached there are four type of act okay first one that is factories act 1948 number two that is workman compensation act 1923 number three that is industrial dispute act and fourth one that is trade union act 1926 so we have already completed factories act and industrial dispute act so we will start workman compensation act and trade union act so let's start the uh, another act that related to workman compensation act so the first and important question that is what do you understand by workman compensation or what do you under, what do you mean by workman compensation act 1923 so here it is the combination of two word first of all workman and number two that is compensation act okay workmen that related to uh, that related to your worker or labor or production engineer and compensation so compensation that given by the worker okay so first of all what is workman compensation okay so it provide compensation to certain category of worker for the loss of working capacity due to accident okay this is what workman compensation act it is the combination of two word okay first word that related to workman or worker number two that related to compensation act okay so it provide compensation to certain category of the worker so now what is the objective of workman compensation so here i have attached one objective so it provide exploitation to the worker in case of payment of compensation okay so this is what workman compensation third one an important one that is this act safeguard the worker and their family also okay so here it is the safety purpose okay fourth one an important one that is this act replacing the actual loss this act replacing the actual loss suffered by the worker by awarding necessary compensation so this is what workman compensation 1923 okay so move forward to next slide that is related to trade union act so first of all what do you understand by trade union okay so trade union that related to your legal status by a person or you you can take legal status okay so first of all what do you understand by trade union okay so here i have attached the objectives of trade union i have attached the main definition of trade union okay so first of all this act is to give a legal status by registration this is very important this act is to give legal status legal status it is very important number two by this act a registered trade union becomes legal person so it convert into legal person this is what trade union act 1926 so here i have attached the main objectives of trade union act so first of all may uh, trade union act that related to wages and salaries okay the main objective is related to wages and salaries working environment working conditions discipline this is very important it integrate uh, it integrate all the thing and you can improve your productivity okay so fourth one that related to employer employee relationship and fifth one that related to personal policies and negotiations okay so this is what trade union act by this act a registered trade union become legal 
person and the main objective that related to wages salaries working conditions and your environment okay so this is what trade union act 1926 so move forward to another act that related to employee provident fund scheme 1952 employee provident fund scheme 1952 okay so here i have attached the main definition of employee provident fund scheme okay so it is the combination of three word employee number 2 that is provident and fund scheme okay some provident or that given by the worker this is what provident or this is what provident fund scheme okay so the main and important definition is this act is applicable to every factory and establishment okay each and every factory uh, that follow this type of rule okay number 1 and important this act is applicable to factories and establishment number 2 and very important function of employee provident fund scheme so the employer shall be required to collect the share of their employee by deducting the same from their wages okay this is what employee provident fund scheme okay number 3 and important most important that is goal okay so what is the goal of this this type of act so to promote better environmental condition to promote better uh, employer employee relationship okay to promote better environment condition in your industry and fourth one and important one that is related to objective so what is the objective of employee provident fund scheme okay so to provide for the installation of provident and family pension scheme okay so this is what employee provident fund scheme to provide for the installation of provident first one that is installation of provident and family pension scheme okay so this is what employee provident fund scheme this is also called as family pension scheme so move forward to another one that related to payment of bonus act 1965 okay payment of bonus okay some bonus that given by the worker okay so first and important that that is definition so bonus is calculated on the annual basis of accounting year okay so bonus is given to the worker this is what payment of bonus act but bonus is calculated on the annual basis of accounting year this is very important number 2 that is eligibility for bonus and disqualification for bonus here there are two part first one that is eligibility for bonus okay and number 2 that is disqualification for bonus this rules and regulation that for uh, that that decided by the management okay number 3 and very important that is payment of maximum bonus and calculation of bonus with respect to certain employee okay this rules and regulation also that decided by the management okay so it is very important payment of bonus act bonus is calculated here bonus is calculated on the annual basis of accounting year fourth one an important one that is proportional reduction in bonus and computation of working days okay so this is what payment of bonus act fifth one and main function main function of payment of bonus act that is deduction of certain amount of bonus and time limit for payment of bonus so this is very important payment of bonus act this act followed by each and every industry you can take small in factory you can take mnc company this all act followed by each and every industry in this particular act bonus is calculated on the basis of accounting year okay so this is what payment of bonus act so thank you thank you very much in this session we have completed three act okay payment of bonus act second one that is employee uh, employee provident fund scheme and number 3 that is workman compensation act so in next session we will start a new chapter that related to inspection and quality control so thank you thank you very much